Episode 9 is said to have many different callbacks to not just the prequels in the originals, but also Star Wars Rebels, as well as other forms of the EU slash Legends material by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing that I will say that I am really excited to see in this movie is exactly how J.J. Abrams is going to handle all the different cameos and nods to the prequels and the originals, and exactly how it's all going to fit into the plot of this movie. Now, we do know that we are getting closer to Star Wars Celebration. You know, we are now, I believe, just 45 days away until we are going to get that official teaser trailer of Episode 9. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. One of which has all to do with Rey and Darth Plagueis. Specifically, a description of Rey inside of the Lost City, walking up a set of stairs, entering another Sith location. It's described that Rey eventually comes across a shrine that is described to be the Shrine of Plagueis. The shrine is said to consist of a large statue of a cloaked figure being Plagueis, wielding a large staff that looks very similar to the the one that Rey owns. A staff into the ground with arches going over the statue. It's described that the Shrine of Plagueis has many gold columns surrounding it. Additionally, it has a wall around it that stands around three feet in a square formation. The next goes over Rey looking up at the Shrine of Plagueis, as it's described that Rey feels sudden darkness when going near it, before moving along with R2-D2 in the actual Sith runes. So I want to go over a couple of parts about this that are really getting me very excited about this movie for all the different Sith and Jedi lore that J.J. Abrams will be inserting into this film as a way to really expand the Star Wars franchise that falls under Disney. Now first things first, Darth Plagueis being in Episode 9 in some way shape or form I think is a fantastic move by J.J. Not only is it a great move by J.J. but it's also the best way in order to really bring things full circle in the Star Wars Skywalker Saga. So when we look at the character of Darth Plagueis, we really don't know too much about him in canon. And we will be learning a little bit more about him in this movie from what it seems, all thanks to the Shrine of Plagueis. Now I'm sure that we're gonna be learning more about this, you know, aside from it being in the movie, more about it in the visual dictionary of episode nine. You know, the visual dictionary always gives us a whole lot more information on certain locations, objects, and just things in the actual movie that can't be explored in depth in actual film. So first things first, the Lost City. I'm really trying to figure out exactly what planet this is based on. Now the Lost City is a location underneath the surface of this mysterious world that will be inserted into episode 9 that is going to be the location of the Jedi and Sith and the origins of the Jedi and Sith and exactly what happened many, many years ago. So for the character of Darth Plagueis, actually having a shrine down there really does raise a lot of questions for sure. Now, is there of course, you know, a couple of hints based within there that maybe there are going to be more elements of Darth Plagueis being inserted into Star Wars Episode 9 in a more significant way? Now. We actually heard a couple of months ago about the manuscript of Plagueis being inserted into episode 9, talking about the different powers of Plagueis that would actually be pretty much, you know, learned by, of course, Rey and Kylo Ren in episode 9. So you can see what JJ's trying to do. He's really trying to bring things all together when it comes to the Skywalker saga. Now, the Shrine of Plagueis, I can only imagine exactly what he really is. Now, as far as we know, in canon, Darth Plagueis is not a mum. You know, if you actually do research it, you know, there's no indication that he is indeed of that species as of yet. F, we went over this just yesterday, holds a great secret inside. So that's another reason as to why I believe that there is more to the story than what's going on for the character of Rey. So this whole entire Lost City location, the whole Shrine of Plagueis sounds amazing, how it has gold columns going around it, a wall that stands around three to four feet high around the shrine, as well as having a lot of callbacks to the prequels. You can see what JJ is trying to do here by giving us this major Easter egg of Darth Plagueis in Star Wars Episode Nine, And that is something that I honestly really love. This is the type of stuff that I like seeing in a Star Wars movie. 
you know, especially the fact that this trilogy is based decades and decades after the events of both the prequels and the originals. It's the best way to go about doing things. So we do know that J.J. Abrams is aiming to make this movie longer than the usual Star Wars film, which is a big hint that this could be a three hour long Star Wars movie. That's just a possibility. However, we do know that Marvel's, you know, Avengers Endgame is going to be three hours long. They may want to actually follow that route in order to really make this film really feel, you know, like it fulfills the Skywalker saga and fulfills the actual sequel trilogy itself from making up what could not be explored in Episode 8, The Last Jedi. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.